Here's a trivia question for you. What year did we get Wi-Fi? The answer is 1999. And back then, we had the wireless B standard. From there, we moved to G, N. Then things got really crazy in 2014. We went to AC. And now in 2020, we have a new wireless standard called AX. And they renamed it Wi-Fi 6 because, well, it just sounds better. Hi, everybody. It's Andy Barrar, a.k.a. Handy Andy, your DIY tech guy. And today we're going to be doing a review for a new Wi-Fi 6 product from D-Link. It's the AX4800 Mesh Wi-Fi 6 Router. Now, D-Link has released a variety of different Wi-Fi 6 routers on the market in 2020. This one is more on the high end. And it's primarily geared towards smart home owners like myself because you can have six simultaneous streams. That's like Netflix, online gaming, and what have you. Six of them. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this review. Let's begin by taking a look at the design. Now, just taking a quick glance at the AX4800, you know this router means business. It's like if a spaceship and a spider had a baby, it would look something like this. And what you get is six powered antennas. What is really interesting, though, is the top two antennas are actually removable, while the other four are non-removable. And this is the first time I've ever seen a router that had both of them, removable and non-removable antennas. And that kind of struck me, and I think the reason why I thought about this way too much. I think it's just the packaging, putting it into a box. It's going to be hard to maneuver when you have an additional um, two antennas on the front. So that's my guess. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I think. When you turn the AX4800 around, you start to see all the familiar ports. Of course, you have your power button and reset button. You have the yellow Ethernet WAN port. 4 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports that can feature link aggregation, a really good feature that I like, and also a USB 2 and USB 3 ports. And that enables you to connect things like printers and USB flash drives to your home network, which is something that you would expect on all high-end routers, and I'm glad that they did that over here. Now that we've had a look at the overall design of the AX4800, let's take a look at the entire setup process. Now I gotta give it to D-Link. They make the setup of their Wi-Fi routers super simple. All you gotta do is make sure you follow the correct steps. And the best way to do that is to use the QR code for the install. And that you're going to find available on the back side of the AX4800. And there also is a quick install card that you could use if you don't want to scan the router itself. And that just makes the entire setup process super simple. On that QR card, you're going to also notice that it comes with the default network name and password for this particular router, but during the install, you're gonna be able to change that. Now, what I really like about the entire install process is that D-Link takes you through all the different steps that you need to do, because one of the mistakes a lot of people do is they don't put their modem through a power cycle, and that basically means turning it off and on, and you gotta do that at the right time when you're connecting your modem to your router for the first time. A lot of people make that mistake, and in the app, it actually will show you step-by-step -step how to do that, and I thought that was a great feature because that's where people always mess it up. And if you follow the instructions, you're gonna have this entire setup done in about five minutes. Now that we've already took a look at the super easy install, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the performance of this router. Now, I installed the AX4800 in my living room, and I used an app that can measure the Wi-Fi signal strength. And no surprise, right beside the router, I was getting 99% signal strength. Then I moved here into my home studio to compare to see what the Wi-Fi signal strength was. And it is farther away from my living room. And I was getting in the 80s. And that was really impressive because when I used the little brother, the entry-level version of Wi-Fi 6 routers from D-Link, the AX1500, 
I was getting 55%. And that router has four antennas, whereas this one has six. So those two uh, antennas that you have to screw on, I basically have data showing that it makes a difference because you got to remember all these antennas are powered. So that was really, really, really interesting data. Now, I was really interested in this Wi-Fi 6 router, the AX4800, primarily because I wanted to see if this new Wi-Fi 6 technology could extend the Wi-Fi signal onto my back deck because no other AC router, even the high ends, I was not able to get that Wi-Fi onto my back deck without using some kind of mesh system. So this was going to be a very interesting test for me because I had it installed in my living room and then from there I basically walked through my kitchen, go into the small little hallway and then straight out into the backyard. So there's a lot of distance from there. And then I have my backyard deck which is a smart deck. So I have a lot of devices connected to the Wi-Fi network. So I need a strong signal. I even have a high-tech robotic lawnmower in the backyard that I control with an app. So having good Wi-Fi in my backyard is paramount and I didn't know if I could do it with the router alone. Thankfully, this router from D-Link is mesh enabled. The AX4800 will work with all other mesh enabled extenders and routers from D-Link and that saves the day because it's very modular in that fact. So anyways, back to the deck. Here's what I noticed when I did the signal test on the back deck. I could not get a 5G signal with the AX4800. And I wasn't surprised, to be honest with you, because by by virtue, five the, the 5 gigahertz frequency just doesn't have that same, you know, length and range as the 2.4 frequency does. And that basically I had proof in the pudding when I was trying to test it in the backyard. What got really interesting is when I switched and took the smart connect off, which basically finds a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz band for your device and just picks for you. I turned that off and just used the 2.4 gigahertz band. And then I did the signal test on the backyard deck and I was able to get Wi-Fi. And that's like really the first time I've seen a high-end router give me Wi-Fi without using mesh. But what I would have loved if I had one of the extenders, I could then test it out and see how far I could push this home Wi-Fi network using a combination of routers and extenders. That would have been really interesting, especially that's all under Wi-Fi 6. Now that we've discussed the performance of the AX4800, let's just take a quick look at some of the pros and cons. Well, one of the first things I like about the AX4800 has to be just an amazing Wi-Fi range. And I think a lot of it's attributed to this new AX or Wi-Fi 6 wireless standard because on the back end of there, they figured a lot of things out to really push the Wi-Fi network. And when you add that you have six antennas that are powered, you're really going to be able to push that Wi-Fi out as much as you possibly can using the latest Wi-Fi technology and antennas at the same time. And it, I have data to show that it was working really well, especially when I compared it to the little brother, the AX1500. Uh, that was some interesting data. And so I really like the fact that it does have a good wireless range. And I was even able to get a signal on my back deck, which I never got before on any AC router alone. Another thing that I like about the AX4800 is that it uses something called BSS coloring, which is a new feature that we're seeing with Wi-Fi 6 routers. And basically what that does is it, it's grouping different types of information to basically reduce wireless interference, especially when you have a lot of different devices. And that's what smart homes have a lot. And I mean, a lot of different devices all connecting to the internet and you can get that kind of interference and what BSS coloring does is it reduces that. Now this is not something you're going to kind of just notice. Things are just going to work but I did like that feature. It was something that got me really excited about this new AX wireless standard. 
Another thing that I like about the AX4800 is that this router is designed for smart homes. You can have up to six simultaneous streams. That means you could have people watching Netflix, you could have people online gaming, you could have people on video chats, what have you. You can have up to six streams. That's two streams on the 2.4 gigahertz band and four streams simultaneously on the five gigahertz band. And that just tells you that this router is designed for smart homes. In terms of cons, I gotta say, technically I was having a hard time finding some cons about this router, but one thing that I would have loved, and it was killing me that I couldn't try it, is that I wish it was bundled with uh, an extender, a mesh enabled extender. That would give users, who especially if you're gonna pay for a premium router, a mesh enabled router, you should be able to get the extender with it and then start playing it around. Because I guarantee you, if you get new, new users to use a mesh extender and they can see the difference, I guarantee you they're going to go out and buy more extenders and just blanket their homes with Wi-Fi inside and out. I'm talking about in the garage, in the basement, in the attic, in the shed. You could do that with mesh and I wish I had that opportunity because I do have a shed way in the back corner of my lot and if I could get Wi-Fi there, that would be the ultimate test. And I think I can with these new Wi-Fi 6 routers. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of D-Link's new Wi-Fi 6 router, the AX4800 Mesh Wi-Fi 6. Now, if you like this review, please leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. You can get more information about myself over at HandyAndyMedia.com. Once again, it's Handy Andy signing off. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.